。嗨，大家好，我是易豪老师。那我在新加坡呢，是啊、呃、在教数学。那今天呢，我会使用新加坡式的数学来给大家讲解一下如何回答一些。啊、呃，比较复杂的数学题。那新加坡式数学呢，在新加坡非常非常的广泛。那为什么呢？因为它可以用最简单的方式来回答非常非常复杂的题。那它应用的方式呢，也使得学生在回答数学题的时候呢，应用他更多头脑的一些几率。所以呢，他们在回答题的时候呢，不但能够回答复杂的题，他们也可以。是呃，加强他们的思维方式。那我们来看一下这这一道题吧。那这一道呢，是新加坡十岁的学生所做的一道题。那这道题呢是这样子的 ：Jack had a total of four hundred and thirty red and blue balloons. After giving away five nine of the red balloons and sixty six blue balloons, now Jack is a person. Now what happens is this person he had Total of four hundred and thirty red and blue balloons. This is how balloon looks like. <coughs> so he had some red balloons, and he had some blue balloons. All right, and the total number of red and blue balloons add up to four hundred and thirty. Now. So supposedly he has a lot of red balloons, and out of all the red balloons that he had, okay, five nine of the balloons will be given away, and sixty six blue balloons will be given away. Now after he had given away these balloons, he had the same number of red and blue balloons left. So the question asks you. How many red balloons did he have at first? So at first, how many red balloons he have? Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at how we use Singapore's models method to answer this question. Now, what happens is that he has given away five nine of the red balloons. So that means out of all the balloons that he had. He keep he give away five nine of that. So let's draw a long box to represent all the balloons that he had at first, or the red balloons that he had at first. Okay. So since we have no idea what this amount is, we just draw a box to represent this is all the red balloons that he had. Now, since he give away five nine of that. So I can divide everything into nine equal parts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is all the red balloons he had. Okay. Now, since he gave away five units of it, so which means this amount of red balloons he had given away. Okay. Now. He also give away some blue balloons. Okay, he give away some balloons, but we don't have no idea how many blue balloons there are at first. But we know that he give away sixty six blue balloons, and after he give away sixty six blue balloons, what happens is that he had an equal number of blue balloons left. So what we can tell from here is that since this is the amount of red balloons he had left, and the number of blue balloons is the same as the number of red balloons left, which means whatever this amount of boxes represents, the number of blue balloons will be the same. And what else we know is that he had given away sixty-six blue balloons. Now. If this is going to represent four hundred and thirty, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen boxes, and another sixty-six should represent. Okay, 
So with this, should represent 430. So I suppose that 66 should be about this size. Okay, now, if this represents 430, okay, which means, okay, so um, 66 is about this size. All right. Now, so how are we going to solve the problems using this? Okay, I know that this is going to be 66. Now, what we are going to do is, so first of all, the very first step we do, okay, is to remove the value of this. Okay, so we take 430 minus 66, it is going to be 364 balloons. Okay, so why do we want to take this part away? Okay, it's so that we know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of the boxes will represent 640. So, in order to find out how many balloons one box represents, all I need to do is just to take 6, 364 divided by 13. Okay, and the answer is going to be 28. So now I know that one of the boxes represents 28. So now, what I want to do is, I want to find out how many red balloons there are at first. If one box represents 28, If one box represents 28, all 9 boxes will represent 28 times 9, 252. Now I have my answer. The number of red balloons he had is 252. And that is our final answer.